Welcome again class 10. In this session we are going to begin with the topography grid session. Next two or three session it would be of the grid alone. So you are required to sit with your grid workbook. The slide over here it shows the cover page of the grid book along with the geometry box and a roll of white thread. These are the things that you require. Now I'm not going to go through chapter number 1, 2 and 3 of your reader book. We are going for the practical application of it in this session. When you open up the grid book, this is how it would look. One side of it, it would have the set of the question answers and the another side it would have the topographic map relating to it. Now to study or to begin with the map work, we could see the various of the colors. Now each and every color it has the different connotation that is attached with it. The first one required that is the four grid reference. Now for the four grid re reference we are going to study the red color line running from north to south. It is known as the easting and running from east to west it is known as the northing. Now each of these lines when they intersect one another they make up one small square which is known as the grid and this is what we require. Each of the line, red color line, northing and easting, they have the certain numbers to it from north to south and east to west. Both the sides it's... Now in this slide, let us find the grid square number 2, 1 and 3, 1. Look at the trees that has been shown over there. Now this is our object. We have to find its four grid location where in the map it is. So we would always start with the southwest section of the map. See where the number 20 and 30 that is given. Now 20 that is for the line of the easting and 30 that is the line of the northing. Now where the object it is located for the line of the easting we would go for the left line of the object. So object is trees over here and the line number that is left to it that line number is 21. So that is our first. After quoting down the two numbers of the easting we would then go for the two numbers of the northing. Now for the northing look at the object again and the line that is below the object that is the trees over here. So line below the object is line number 31. So the reference for the trees over here, the four grid reference of it, it would be then 2, 1, 3, 1. Look at the key along with the tree where it is written wood, then PO is written post office and the cross is made where church is written. Find out the four grid reference to it. Now what would be the four grid reference of the post office? It would be 2, 2, 3, 2. Then what would be the grid reference of church here? That would be 2, 2, 3, 1. Hope that was easy for you. The second topic that is the 6 grid reference. Now we have to find the exact location of a particular object. So two more numbers we would add. So after every easting and after every nodding we would add numbers. This is how you would be writing down the 6 grid reference. 2 number of the easting blank, 2 number of the northing blank. Each of the grid measurement is about 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. Now this centimeters we do not require. We will simply count down the number of the lines from 0 to 2. So that should be 20 in number. This is what we require, 20 units. Or if you could divide whole of that grid square into 10 equal parts as shown in this slide. From number 1 and to number 9 that would be total 10 divisions from both the sides. The side of the easting as well as the side of the northing as well. So both the sides that gives us the square. This square you divide it into 10 equal parts. So wherever the number placement it would be, it would then be the easier one for us to find out the 6 grid reference. Now what you have to do is to take this 
and place this graph exactly on the grid square seeing that all the lines they coincide with one another say our object is the red color dot we have to find the six grid placement for it so after writing down the two number of the e string we will then study the horizontal yellow color line what is the number that is given to it that is 4 so that would be our first number two number of the e string in the first blank we will write down 4 all right then we would go for the vertical reading of the yellow color line and see what is the number that is given over there that is also number 4 so two easting four to northing four so that is how the grid reference the six grid reference it would then look like all the numbers it would be written close to one another there won't be any sort of the gap in it this is how it should be you can take the scale and then place it on the line of the easting and the northing find the number value and divide it by 2 same manner the line of the northing all right and then divide it by 2 if the answer come in point then take the whole number let us find the six grid reference of the red color dot over here first write down the four grid reference so what would it be it would be 1 7 5 1 that is the four grid reference now first six grid reference that is what is the place value you are going to write at the first blank see where it is coinciding to the horizontal line it is coinciding with number 5 so that would be the first reading now it would be 1 7 5 now to the line vertical what is the reading over there how many lines there are one and two so the next reading it would be 5 1 2 then it would be 1 7 5 six grid reading it would be 1 7 5 5 1 2 5 i hope children four grid and six grid it is clear to you going to the topic of the settlement pattern all the red color square that you see spread over in the grid paper that is the building the houses we call them as the houses now what is the pattern of these houses what is they make in one grid square that is what a concern is one grid square what is the type of the pattern that they make now if this red color buildings or red color squares they are spread far off from one another then it is the dispersed settlement if this settlement is based along the side of the road or the river or the stream or the railway track then it would be the linear pattern now if it is very tightly packed against one another and three section of the road is attached to it then it would be the nucleated pattern all right dispersed or scattered nucleated or compact linear or ribboned then we have the radial pattern at the center it would be any kind of the water tank or any post office and it would be attached to four roads then it would be the radial pattern now here the description that is given you can go through this kind of the description from your grid book i will show you the patterns over there the first one that is the red color blocks they are situated away from one another so this one is the dispersed or the scattered settlement the second one that is settlement was red color line this is the metal road pakka road running in between houses are on both the side this is linear then we have settlement dhan we have the metal road then the broken red color line pack track and one single red color line car track this is the centered one radial then we have dholpur three types of the road one is the metal the another one is the cart track this is the compact compact type of the settlement now children from your book exercise number 1 you solve question number a b c and p and then i'll give you the set of the answers along with it just make sure that before telling out the answers you solve it on your own Here we end with the session. Thank you.